Well, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Real Madrid Football Manager 2015 series. Now, in the last episode, if you didn't see it, you should go ahead and watch it. If we go into our schedule here, we did play against Atletico, uh, Cordoba and Atletico again. The both legs of the Super Cup. Um, we did manage to pull off the win in the Super Cup as well. We managed to win it 1-0, so I'm very happy with that. And we also kicked off the first game of the BBVA as well and won that 5-1. So we're actually doing pretty well. But anyway, in this episode, we are going to be playing against Real Sociedad and Atletico Madrid again. Um, so Real Sociedad, we're going to be playing against David Moyes for the first time. I don't think he's technically manager on this yet, but if we go over and uh, can we can we see at any point staff? Oh, um, manager, manager, manager. All right, it's Joe Goba Ar Ar Arasati or whatever, but. In real life, as you probably know, Rea um, David Moyes has just taken over that job, so we will be playing against him technically. But anyway, let's get into this game. Um, it's a little while away. Uh, we do have a Champions League group stage draw today, so we're going to review the draw. Um, if we draw the next team, Real Madrid. Okay, so we're first. Okay, who do you reckon we can come uh, come up against? So we can't come up against Bayern, which is good. Arsenal, they're a good team on this as well. Um, Barcelona, I'm happy. Chelsea, I'm definitely happy. Atletico, I'm happy. We're against Juventus, though, and Juventus are a solid team. Um, Bayern against Basel, Shakhtar, um, Olympiakos, uh, Schalke, Bayer Leverkusen, Man City, PSG. Okay, so at the minute, this one's looking like the best, uh, the best one. Then Sporting, okay, I'm okay with that. Um, then Liverpool, Sporting are obviously a good team, but... Uh, they're not the best out of all of these. Ajax, Dortmund. Um, okay, come on, draw next team. Uh, CSKA, Moscow. Um, Galatasaray, Napoli, Anderlecht. Then we got Red Bull, so FC Red Bull. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm definitely okay with that. It's not the worst we could have come up against. We could have come up against someone like Barcelona or Chelsea or... Uh, like Arsenal, Dortmund, all of these other teams in the same group. We did manage to come up as, uh, against Juventus. They are obviously a solid team. But I think we've got the quality to see them off, definitely. So it's not too much of a big deal. Anyway, um, Real Madrid to face Juventus. That's fine. All of our matches being rearranged. Um, that's fine. And Ilaramendi rejects Shakhtar. For Christ's sake, Ilaramendi, just why? Bernard deal falls through, for Christ's sake. All right, scouting. Um, attacking movement, I'm going to do that. Bernard, proposed transfer from Shakhtar. Okay, right, I want to put this guy in for another transfer because I really do want him. Um, will they just accept that again? They probably won't this time, will they? They probably won't. I don't think I'm actually going to have the money to uh, to do it anyway. But let's go in. 11. All right. Players removed from shortlist. John Obi McKeon says Farragas. Um, that's, that's perfectly fine. 23 players called up for international jury. Now, I'm going to say set all to 45 minutes per game because I do not want any of them getting any like massive injuries. So, I'm just going to set them to uh, playing 45 minutes per game. All right, so Espanyol beat Sevilla 1-0. It's a pretty good result for them. Um, the bid got rejected. Okay, so it looks like we're not going to be doing any more transfer business so far uh, for a little while. Because, well, first of all, we don't really need it. Um, and we haven't really got the money to, to do it. We've got about 14 million. So, still quite a bit. But we're also minus in the wages. So, we do have to be careful with that, of course. So, Liga BBVA, Real Sociedad. And we will see what we can do. Injury worry for Spain. Ruben Garcia brought into the Spain under 21s. Injury blow. Okay, let's just continue. Let's just continue. So, this is basically what Foot Manager is. Um, most of you guys have probably played it anyway, to be honest. Atletico beat Ibar 3-0. Elche beat Granada 3-0. Valencia lost against Malaga. Malaga's a good team, but that shouldn't really be happening. Atletico beat Bilbao, I believe that is. Is that? No? Um, I don't think it is. No, I think it's just... Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, Let's Bilbao uh, against Levente and uh, Drew to all, so... Not the best result for them, but we do have the... This is game day, of course. Coric sent... Uh, set for Chelsea. Who's this guy? Whoa, he seems very good. He's valued at £1.8 million at the age of 17. That's good. 15 dribbling. Wow. This guy's impressive. Alright. So, is there anyone at the minute that we could possibly go for? I'm going to go with someone who's like transfer listed. Transfer status. Um, transfer listed. Someone who's transfer listed could really benefit us, first of all, because it's cheaper. And uh, second of all, it's just better for us. Ashley Young. 
Ashley Young. Hmm. Not quite sure, to be honest. All right, guys. So, sorry about that. I just had to go. Um, I just needed to go back quickly and just do something. So, Chelsea have completed signing of Dynamo's 17-year-old Croatian attacking midfielder for a fee of 750k. So, I actually managed to get in for less than that. Oh, holy Christ. Um, that is a really good deal. I'm not going to lie. That is... Uh, an impressive deal there, but it is the game day, and we better get on to uh, playing this game. We do have to obviously select a decent team for this. Um, a couple of our players are kind of not ill, but a couple of our players are uh, less satisfied on, on fitness and whatnot, so we have to be careful. We have to go around that. So, Abate, hmm, Carverhouse a beast, but I don't know. I'm going to keep him off for now. Um, he's not really played that too many games for us. And there is obviously a reason for that. Abate can't play left back. Um, Abla can play left back. So what I might do is I might actually bring Carver Howe on. Take Fabio Contral off. Play Abla at left back. Play Carver Howe at right back. Uh, Varan, Ramos, Cruz, Ilaramendi. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo, Modric, um, Rodriguez and Benzema. We could go with that. Actually, no. Oh, no. I was just about to say could have bought him on, but no. Um... He can't play there either. Um, okay, I think that's probably the best I could possibly do at the minute. Um, everyone, well, the only one I'm really worried about is Luka Modric, but if we need to, we can bring on one of these two at halftime because they've got enough fitness to uh, see off the, re the second half of the game. So let's get into this game. I'm uh, kind of nervous going into this game because Sociedad are actually a really good team. And also, um, it's pretty much one of our... Not one of our hardest games, but it's probably... Well, other than, of course, Atletico Madrid is probably the hardest game that we've come across so far. So, we are favourites. Go ahead and uh, give the fans something to cheer for. And I'm going to say that I have faith in you. Um, I have faith in you. Let's go. I didn't actually meant to say that I, I didn't have anything to say. But anyway, let's go. Let's uh, continue. Castro. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Well done, Carver Howe. Well done. All right. Ten minutes in. Still nothing. Still nothing. 20 minutes in, still nothing. Is this going to be like another really boring first half? Seems as if it is, isn't it? 40 minutes in, nothing. For Christ's sake. Anything at all? And no. Okay, but Sergio Ramos is actually quite low on fitness. I might actually bring him off a bit later on. Luka Modric, I'm going to bring on back. Uh, I'm going to bring back on Jack Wilshere. Um, Javier Hernandez, I might bring on for Kareem Benzema. We'll, uh, we'll go with that. Assertively, we expect to win. Come on. We we expect to win. I have faith in you. I have faith. And I have faith. Right, let's go. So we've still got two more. we still got one more substitution to hopefully take off Sergio Ramos in like the 65th minute or someone. Bring on Pepe. Uh, don't want to commit too many fouls though because his aggression is too much. Oh, Hernandez. The uh, super substitute could have just bought on. And, uh, well, could have just been bought on and scored straight away. Carlos Martinez throws it. Finds Vela, finds Granero, Fig Boson, finds Vela. Oh no, they're running. Come on, we're opening at the back. We're opening at the back. We're giving them way too much space. They shoot, and that is just wide. Holy Christ, that was a good shot. Okay. Um. All right, Carlos Martinez. They're running down the wing here. We need to be careful. Granero finds Prieto, finds Fig. Oh, what a save, Casillas! You freaking tank. What a save! I'm gonna put in a flexible. People can. Move around. I'm happy with that. Right, come on, push forward. Our oh, blow is injured. Freaking great. So it doesn't look like Sergio Ramos is going to come off. And oh, I do have a left back. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that I certainly I have faith. Let's go. Seems to be in a positive mood. I'm glad you were. I'm glad you were. But that means our blow, probably our best right back at this point in time, has gone off. Um, aggressively uh, push forward. Come on. Come on, let's go. We need a win in this game. We definitely need a win in this game. All right, Tony Cruz finds Carver Howe. Carver Howe, is he going to whip that in? He does. Finds Hernandez. Ronaldo finishes it. Hernandez with the first shot. Um, lucky, well, kind of unlucky he didn't go in. But then Ronaldo follows up the effort and he scored another goal for us. Ronaldo just been an absolute tank for us so far. What a what a beast. What a beast. He scored, what, like seven seven goals, I think, in like three games. Carver Howe, unlucky Hernandez, um, hit the bar, so he could have initially scored. But Ronaldo follows up with the effort and smacks it into the goal. I'm uh, I'm pleased with that. Jack Walsh has also picked up a knock, which is not good because I can't do anything about it. Also, Sergio Ramos is on really low stamina. He's actually gone up a bit, but still not good. All right, 
Go on. Markel find no, don't let him don't let him equalise now. Don't let him De La Bella. Oh, Ramos boot that out. Thank you. That was lucky. Come on, lads. See, it's been a good game. We're obviously winning, but look at the shots down the bottom. We've not been the better team. We've definitely not been the better team. Uh we've had more possession, but that's only by two percent. Vela shoots, easy save from Casillas. Come on. We need to hold on, lads. We need to hold on. There you go. The referee should blow the whistle. We should get three points from today, which is good. But I'm not happy with how we played. Um, I'm going to say assertively, that was a bit of a let-off. Um, we didn't really play too well. Um, not aggressive. Cautiously. Um, I'm just going to I'm just gonna leave it at that. Because if I say that I wasn't happy with them, they're probably going to moan because they did score. So that is one of the games done. Let's, see, let's just make sure that no one's... Oh, he's going to be out for three weeks. It's a twisted ankle. Not too bad. Um, uh, oh, right. If Trigger Real Madrid would have to pay Tottenham 850k. I'm okay with that. Um, okay. Let's uh, let's continue with this. Let's continue with this. Champions Cup squad registration. Celta Vigo, 3-0. Um, Barcelona drew against Villarreal, which is good. Villarreal is a good side, but I don't know. Um... I'm happy that they did that. Also, De Santos. De Santos could be a player that we could look into. Ten million pounds. If I go for five million pounds straight up, monthly instalments of um, how much do you want to put in? Ten million pounds over a period of forty-eight months. My well, Billy Dragon's scraping again. I'm sorry about that. Um, Fourteen million pounds after league appearances. After twenty games, I will give you one million pounds. And also, if he scores twenty goals, I will give you two. Two million pounds. Would you accept that? Is acceptable. Wow, we could be bringing in Giovanni De Santos. That's um, that's actually really good. I'm going to say he's a keeper or a first team player because he will be. Um, we don't really have the wages for him though. How about key player? Can we have? Yeah, we do. Okay. How much did he want? Eighty k. But I don't particularly want to make eighty k. So I'm going to say seventy three point three sign on bonus is not going to happen. Um, agent fee. I'm going to bump that down a little bit. We're also going to put the Appearance fee is 17k, gold bonus as 15k, substitute fee as 9.5, minimum release clause, I'm okay with that. Um, let's bump this up to 72, suggest? No, wow, now he's even asked for even more money. Um, goes for 75, 2.5, and 1.5. Go? No. They just he, they just don't want to let well not that they just don't want to let him go but they he just doesn't want to accept anything does he? How about eighty five k? Yep okay finalized deal. It could be a lot of money. We've also said that he's a key player but I don't think he will be. We can always change that. Zinedine Zidane um, has provided some feedback on how the players have been training over the past month. That's not too bad. Gay's training report. Ariolo Gay. Um, I feel sorry for him and his wife if he has one. Okay. Uh, registration window. Let's go ahead and also select. We need to uh, try and register these players. And also, Dos Santos is set to sign for us as well, so we're going to register him. 12.2 million will be deducted from Real Madrid's 14.5 million. So we've just signed Giovanni Dos Santos. I don't think that's a lot. I don't think that's a bad deal at all. Look at his finishing. He's got 15 dribbling, 14 finishing, 16 first touch. He's a tank, 16 technique. Um, he's a quick player as well, so we've also got that pace. And he can play cam, which is good. He could be uh, one of our one of our backup cams. So I'm happy with that. End of transfer window. We're heading towards the end of the day. And um, I'm definitely happy with that. So Real Madrid have signed us. Uh, speak to Casillas. We'll try and get him to introduce him. And also I want to add him to the squad registration if I can. Where is he? Giovanna De Santos. Auto select. Can I not add him? Who do I want? Oh, uh, out. Yeah. Hey, Giovanna De Santos, let's uh, take away Hesse Rodriguez. And also, I might put Hesse Rodriguez on loan, um, available on loan, because I don't think I'm really going to use him. Uh, Tony Cruz, Jack Wilshere, Gareth Bale, all of these players, of course, I want. Says that Azpilicueta. I think we're good there. Let's go. Transfer deadline. We're going to take part because um, it just extends the transfer deadline day, so we're going to take part in it. Speculation persists that Pepe could be leaving the Santa uh, Santa Bale before the end of the day. Um... They'd have to make it a good one for us to sell. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Because Pepe is a crucial player in this team. Um, how serious is the transfer product been depleted by the sort of deals you made this transfer window? Um, the bank isn't completely empty, but a big chunk has gone, which is true. we still got like 2 million left, but I won't 
Um, carry on buying anyone else now. I don't need anyone else. The Football Express understands that you made a bid for Shakhtar's Bernard, but it was rejected. Um, no, we won't. This deal is dead. Let's uh, continue in the transfer uh, transfer deadline day with seven hours, 30 minutes left. It's been an exceptional busy day um, in Spain so far. Um, I won't rule anything out because we can't possibly know as, you know, it's part of us, so whatever. Um, Pulido, Pulido, 23-year-old. He's got some good stats. Let's go with central defender. No, he's a bit iffy. One star. Average. Um, you could have him on loan. You can have him on loan and you'd only have to pay 40%. Actually, just pay 100% of his wages because you said that you was interested in doing it anyway. Okay, yeah, so they could afford his wages anyway. We're going to uh, speak to him. We're going to say that I've decided he should go out on loan. Um, and accept it, which is good, because he could come back a better play, you know? He could just increase a lot over time, so we need to be careful with that. Okay, anyway, he has gone on loan. Let's continue with this. Uh, we've got a few more days up until the Atlantic Madrid game, so what I might do is I might skip to that, guys. Um, as my pause button is F8, it also takes me to a different screen, so when I restart, it will take me to that screen, which is why I won't be on the thingy. But anyway... Guys, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a sec. I'm just going to skip all of this, all of these stupid days and whatnot. All right, guys. So I'm actually back now. We've uh, skipped to the day of uh, Real Madrid versus Atletico. So another All Madrid derby. And Simeone has actually spoken about me. Um, he's taken several questions about playing rivals. And the question was, the European Football Review chose a primary subject to focus on. Um, do you agree that this could be seen as a bit of a grudge match between Michael Barton and yourself, given his comments about you uh, after your last encounter? Uh, Simeone appeared rather cautious in response. I said, I learned after our last match not to let anything he says to get to me. I'm uh, I'm just focused on getting a positive result on Saturday. So he's, uh, he seems like he's up for the fight, and he he's a bit... Well, cautious going into this game, I guess, um, because it can be a bit difficult. And so am I, actually. Because we beat him last time does not necessarily mean we're going to beat him this time. So it's going to be a really tough game, um, but I'm definitely up for it. And um, I think we can possibly pull something off. If we can, I'll be happy with it. Um, I'm glad that we, we hopefully can. So let's get into this team game. Everyone's fitness looks absolutely fantastic. Apart from Jack Wilshere, of course, because he, he is currently injured. So let's get rid of him. Um, also, Marcelo is back from injury. So I'm going to ease him back in um, to the yeah, injury. I'm also going to take off Nacho because I don't particularly want Nacho. Also, Gareth Bale's back, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's take Modric off. I'm going to put Bale on the right. I'm also, I am going to put Modric back on, but for Ida Ramendi this time. Um, Javier Hernandez, Jonathan De Santos as well. I might actually bring Jonathan De Santos on. Um, he can't play there. Accomplished. Well, so he can play there, but he's not 100%. Nacho, Abate, uh, Luka Modric. I do want him on the pitch, so I'm going to bring him on the, the uh, substitutes. Uh, apparently, Pepe is wanted by Man City as well, which is good because if they do want him, they're gonna, they can pay big for him because they got money. Very control. Yep, Pepe, Marcelo, Luka Modric, Isco, Javier Hernandez. Also, yeah, Jonathan De Santos is going to play. So attacking midfielder. Um, I think I'm going to play Shadow Striker maybe because Shadow Striker, he's got some oh Trey Trey style, however the hell you pronounce that. Let's play him as that, actually, because he plays best there. So let's play him as that. Um, he's still attacking as well. Hamas Rodriguez, we're going to play you as a uh, uh, box to box midfielder. Deep lying playmaker, I think. Support. Um, actually, no, because I'm going to play as a central midfielder attack. We could push him up a little bit. Sonny Cruz, of course, is the anchor man. I'm going to play Gareth Bale as the inside forward alongside Cristiano Ronaldo. And that seems absolutely fine we're going to go with the, this exact team we've obviously got Jonathan De Santos this time uh, Giovanni Giovanni not Jonathan what the hell um, and he seems to be increasing uh, becoming better and better as it goes along so I'm happy with this as per the question I'm going to leave out for this game because he's not got full fitness Abato we're going to leave out like I said he's just like a backup so he's not really going to get much playing time and also he's actually gone up in value so that's that De Santos right now, he's not actually got a particular one, so I'm actually going to put him in number 20. I'm going to submit numbers. He's going to be number 20. Let's go. So Churchy here is definitely someone who I want to, not hard tackle, because I'll give um, penalties away. Churchy, we're going to, I'm going to do that. Also, 
going to close down Griezmann. I'm going to close down um, Koke. Anyone else on here? Correa, I'm going to close down as well because he's a tank. And Turan, I'm going to close down if he does come on the pitch. So there you go. All right, today is all about the supporters. Let's give the fans something to cheer about. Okay, right, I completely believe you've got what it takes. Jonathan De uh, Giovanni De Santos is making his first game. He's already got very good uh, morale. So let's get into this game. I'm hoping uh, De Santos can have a great debut, maybe score a goal or two. Um, that'd be fantastic. And uh, let's see what we can do. Six minutes in. Uh, nothing much here. Yellow card for them. Oh, Ronaldo's got free kick. Oh, Gareth Bale back from injury. And he puts us 1-0 up against Atletico Madrid. What a fantastic goal that was. Unlucky Ronaldo to get the free kick there. That was an insane free kick. That was beautiful. But uh, Gareth Bale follows it up. Look at this. Bam. Over the wall. Good save from Moya. Bale smacks it in with his weak foot. And it's now... 1-0 to us, 7 minutes in. I'm happy. I'm happy. Let's go. Let's go, lads. Come on, let's go. 15 minutes in. 15 minutes in. Still nothing there. 16. Oh, God. 20 minutes. This is where I'm getting nervous because there's no... Oh, wow. It's us. Okay. Ramos. Ah. Oh. Rodriguez finds it. He finds Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz. Oh, no. Finds Churchill. They're going to counter now, aren't they? Real Garcia. No. Falls to Carvajal. Casillas. Boot it, Carvajal. No, not Carvajal. Sorry. What the hell is Casillas doing? He, he shouldn't have picked that up, but what? Oh, wow, unless he headed it, I guess. Tony Cruz finds De Santos. Go on, De Santos. You got the dribbling. Oh, Maris Suarez just nicked it from him. Church, they could be. Oh, oh Balawa. Look at this. What is happening? Griezmann finds Garcia. Finds Church. He churches on a run. He shoots and puts it over the crossbar. Oh, that's what we need to be That's what we need to be wary about. They're on the counter by the looks of it. They look like they're counter attacking, um, which is obviously. Not good for us, but I am going to do a team talk and calmly say, um, uh, encourage. Calmly encourage. Bale. Go on, Bale. Go on, Bale. Oh, God, that wasn't a very good shot. All right, 45th minute by the looks of it. Half time. Um, it's been a pretty good game. I'm happy if Hadis is gone. Uh, our beloved is kind of low on fitness. I'm actually going to bring on Marcelo for his return back from injury. It's all about the supporters. Come on. Come on. Um, there's a lot more to come from you, there's a lot more to come from you, and there's a lot more to come from you. Let's go. Everyone's looking happy and motivated. Let's go. Come on. Come on, 45 minutes in. 1-0 to us. Miranda, they're playing nice the, around the pitch here. This might actually be a, a cutscene. All right, Tony Crowe finds Varane. Go on, finds Carver Howe. God, it looks like something's going to happen straight from kickoff. Dos Santos finds Ben Zimmer. Go on. Finds Rodriguez. Come on, find someone. Don't lose it. Dos Santos, okay, it falls to Bale. Go on. Go on, Bale. Go on, they're really pressuring us, aren't they? Carvajal finds Bale again. He swigs it in. And James Rodriguez. I don't even know what swig, swigging a ball into the box is, but swinging a ball into the box. And James Rodriguez finishes it straight from kickoff. Look at this. Lovely play. Bale whips it in with his weak foot, and James Rodriguez smacks it in with his weak foot. Um, and it's 2 0 to us now. So we're beating Atletico Madrid 2 0. Oh, God. This is one of the hardest games we've come uh, across so far this season, and we're, I'm really confident, really, really confident. Ronaldo with a free kick. Oh, it gets blocked, but can be follow-up. Marcelo crosses it in. Oh, what a save from Moya, but that it means it is a corner. Tony Cruz whips it in. Go on. Oh, the keeper picks it up. The keeper picks it up with ease. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. I'm... Um, I'm uh, I'm pleased with how you're going. Please, definitely pleased with how you're going. I mean, you've kept them to five five shots. We've had 16, so I'm happy. Ronaldo finds Marcelo. Marcelo coming back from injury and hits the crossbar by the looks of it. Oh, my God. How lucky was that? Okay. Javier Hernandez I'm going to bring on for uh, Benzema. Uh, also, I might bring on uh, Luka Modric for James Rodriguez. James Rodriguez has had a fantastic game, but... I'm going to take him off. I don't want to risk injury because he's had a fantastic game. We're already winning 2-0, so I'm confident we can see this game out. Um, but anyway, yeah, 80th minute. We've still got Tony Cruz whips it in, finds Ramos, and Ramos puts it away. It is 3-0 to us against Atletico Madrid. I'm very happy with this. We still haven't lost in the league yet. We still haven't lost at all yet, um, well, other than preseason, if we did lose. But I don't think we did. Um, and by the way, I didn't manage that anyway. The assistant manager did. So 3-0. 80 minutes in. I'm very, very happy um, so far. 86 minutes in. Looks like we're going to see this game out. And also, not only did we win this 3-0, we 
we haven't yet conceded. So fingers crossed, touch wood. We haven't actually yet conceded. Carver Howe, and it is full time. We never conceded a clean sheet at home against, wow, against Atletico Madrid. Well done, lads. That is a great win for us. I'm uh, very happy with all your efforts and whatnot. Let's go. Look to switch off, apparently, but whatever. Dos Santos, good game. Um, played pretty well. Okay, so what else? We triumph. Uh, makes his debut. Fans jubilant, and Tottenham have received 850k. Bale's on form, one goal and one assist. And um, I'm happy with that. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please go ahead. Do hit that like button. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, all of that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And take care. <laughs>